If you watch part 1, you may be wondering why the car is in pieces now. Well, before I answer that question, let's clean this car up a bit. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the sticker license plate. It's unnecessary, I don't need it, so I'm going to sand it off. After I remove both sticker license plates, now I can give the car a good wash. The car is in pieces because in part one, the motor that used to turn the front wheels broke, which motor was unexpected. So what I had horrible. to do is I had to disassemble the whole turning system, right? And then I had to remove the DC motor that used to turn the front wheels. And once I removed the DC motor, I managed to identify the problem. The problem was actually the DC motor. The DC motor was just old, so the brushes just came apart, right? But I managed to find a bigger motor which operates at 12 volts and I installed it. So you could say this is an upgraded gearbox and I'm, I'm gonna install it in the front wheels and it should turn 10 times better. But in this video, the turning system is not the next upgrade. The next upgrade is actually going to be the front lights I'm going to upgrade the front lights these lights I'm going to upgrade them I'm gonna the the previous lights they have bulbs in them but they super super dumb in this video I'm gonna install powerful powerful lights car lights this is going to be like a car it's going to have powerful LED lights
great but who's going to clean up all this mess i wonder as you can see all the wiring that i needed to do is completed and everything that I needed to install is installed. So basically I've installed two LED car bulbs in the front. And then the pre-installed lights that were used in the front, I've installed them at the back. Those lights are connected in parallel with the front lights, but the two lights at the back are connected to uh, connected in series with each other so the voltage that they used to take is doubled to 12 volts so they all connected all the LED lights are connected together now the LED lights are connected to a switch now this is a three pin switch the three pin switch is connected to the battery so power from the battery a positive and negative goes into the switch and then a positive from the switch is your output power now i have also installed a second switch the second switch is used for the car horn now the second switch is tapping power from the first switch the battery power so that both switches are taking power from the battery itself so everything that i needed to install is finally installed we have a car horn and two bright led bulbs in the front and then two pre-installed lights at the back just like that finally complete Time to install the front turning system. As you can see, everything is now connected and put back together. So if I turn, it turns. Look at that. The turning system is back online. If I accelerate, it works just fine now the big reveal so open the door boom look down there there we go as you can see we have two switches now are you ready I'll give you the honors boom as you can see the light is on right now look what else is on the front LEDs are on boom same with that light the light will tell us if the two LEDs are on or not next we'll switch this off boom are you ready for the second one <laughs> extra loud the steering wheel works just fine nice and hard pretty good yeah that's pretty good let's close that would you look at that okay the sun has gone down time to test out these lights so the switch should be right there we go oh yeah oh yeah yeah it looks beautiful
lights are on. This is when it's off. On, off, on, off, on. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking or subscribing. Hope to see you in another video.